This is John from Colin Service. Today we're gonna clean, look over, and sharpen our Echo CS330T. Did some tree work with her. She did a good job. Now we're gonna treat her right and clean her and shop. First we're gonna do our spray of some compressed air to wipe off all the loose particles. When you wanna sharpen your blades is when your chainsaw no longer self-feeds. When it doesn't pull into the wood, and you gotta put pressure on it. You have to use the buck and spikes to cut. That means you gotta sharpen your chain. Or if you have any dust instead of chips coming out, you know you gotta sharpen it. Alright, first I'm gonna loosen the two bolts on the side. And I'm gonna loosen the chain. Now I'm going to take off completely. Second side. Alright, make sure the chain break is off or you won't be able to remove this. Just pull it off. Now we get to clean all inside of there. You should be wearing gloves when you're working with the chain. and the chain. Now you want to inspect your chain to make sure it's not broken or damaged. Replace it and check your bar also. You want to make sure that your bar is straight. Make sure it's not warped or bent. And we have to clean the inside of that. Alright, now we gotta clean it out. You can use a brush, you can use a compressed air, you can use a screwdriver to get all the tough bits out. Clean that a little bit, I gotta do a little bit more. I'm gonna go blow this one out. Alright, so I cleaned her out. Clean my bar down. Clean the grooves inside. I clean those out, I blew them out. Make sure that it's still oiled well though. You don't want to wipe all the oil away. And make sure it's well oiled. Clean the break off. Now you want to check your chains off of uh, any broken, worn parts. Make sure the sprocket's okay. Alright, now we gotta sharpen the chain. There's a few different ways to sharpen the chain. There's always more than one way to skin a cat. Use files, handheld files, or you can do an electric sharpener and adapt it for a drill. Have a sharpen bit on that. Today I'm going to show you this electric sharpener and file sharpening. Alright, so if we're going to use the electric sharpener, before we put our saw back together, the chain has to be free. Now this thing is pretty easy to use. Chicago Electric Power Tools. It's pretty simple. Let's put it in the slot. First I dealt with this machine, and then I used it, and I got a really good result out of it. And right here you can see it's got the degree. I'll change to be sharpened at a certain degree. Right, test. Gotta back it off some. Just gonna turn it on. Tighten it up. That's it. And then move on to the next one. You always want to mark your spot after you sharpen it. I use a 
bread tie for this. I just twist it on there. And when it comes back around, I know that I'm done. That is the twist tie. That means we're done with this side. Now all you do is you loosen it from the bottom and you just turn it. And tighten it back up. Now you just go at it from the other side. That's it. It's all sharpened. I do like this machine. It gives great results. Only thing that I don't like about it is it does take off more than you would if you were sharpening it by hand. Now it's nice and shiny. Nice and sharp. Get it cut back. Beautiful. Alright, now we're going to put it back together with your handle and chain. You want to wear gloves so you don't hurt yourself. Okay. It's, a it's a good idea when you're cleaning it and you're taking the bar off to reverse it so it gets even wear. So reverse your bar. If you want to reverse it, it looks kind of silly upside down, but what are you going to do? Chainsaw really don't look silly. Make sure the teeth are going up and over. Top, up and over. You don't want to put your chain in backwards. That's, that's just silly. Make sure it's grooved right. bolts but don't tighten them all the way down. Alright, make them a little snug. You still gotta tighten the chain. Alright, now when you're tightening your chain, you wanna lift the tip of the bar up. Tighten it. To hold it up while you're adjusting it. You want it to fit tight. You want it to be it should fit snug but not sag. It should feel tight and move freely. It's good. Now let's tighten it down. So it should feel tight but move freely. So pull it in towards you. Make sure it moves freely. Now you're going to want to put your chain brake on. All right, now we're going to sharpen it using the files. You're going to need a vise, hand files, and something to mark the teeth with. All right, so you're going to want to put your saw bar in the vise. Make sure it's just on the bar. You don't want the teeth caught in there.
Now you want to make sure you have the right size file for your chainsaw. Let's size. This is 530 seconds. Okay, with 316s. 530 seconds. This is a small saw. We need 530 seconds. All right, now you want to check, make sure you have it at the right degree. 25 degrees, 30 degrees, 35 degrees. All right, first you want to mark your tooth. Use something you can see. I can see the pencil. Use something you can see to mark the tooth. Get your file. Put your thumb there. You want to use a file guide until you can get down how to do this a lot easier. Now you want to do even strokes from the beginning of the file to the end of the file and you want to do the same amount of strokes for each tooth that you cut because you want all the teeth to be the same size. Get it the right degree from the beginning of the file to the end of the file. Count how many file strokes you've done. And then you move on to the next tooth. Then, you want to do the other side. You do the same pointing teeth on one side, you go around the saw completely, then you want to start on the other side and do the same thing. Now you want to check the depth gauge. That's what this tool is right here. Depth gauge checker. You want to make sure that your depth gauge, which is these is these right here are not higher than your teeth so you have to check it and make sure you lay on top of that and you make sure that that's flush you don't want that tooth above yep. gauge which is higher than your teeth you have a flat file and the flat file goes right on top and you'd file it down until it was no longer too tall. And you just want to go around and check all of them. Make sure none of them are too tall. They shouldn't be. All your teeth should be the same size. So your depth gauges should all be correct. And if they were, just file it right off. And then you'd want to round it. And your teeth should feel sharp. with no visible damage. All right, now we just sharpened our chainsaw two different ways. We took it apart and cleaned it. You're also gonna wanna check your air filter, your fuel filter, your spark arrestor screen, and your spark plug. I will be doing that in another video on how to give your chainsaw a tune-up. So look for that in the future, how to give your chainsaw a tune-up. This saw is a beast. This saw does a lot of work. It's a great tree saw. Her name is Sarah. She's been good to me. So I'm going to be good to her. And make sure she gets the proper treatment. Keep your equipment in good condition. Treat it right and it will treat you right. Alright, this is John from Cullen Service. Thanks for watching. And uh, check out our other videos. And I'll see you later.